Tonight, a new twist in one of the biggest police scandals of recent years. Peter Francis, a former undercover police officer who accused Scotland Yard of being involved in a smear campaign against the family of the murdered black teenager Stephen Lawrence, has been denied immunity from prosecution for potential breaches of the Official Secrets Act. Peter Francis first made his allegation about the police in June to a Channel 4 dispatches programme. This prompted political outrage and calls for a public inquiry. At this moment, it's down to a police investigation, Operation Hearn, to establish the truth. But tonight, in his first broadcast interview since his original claims, Peter Francis has said without that immunity from prosecution, he is refusing to speak to the police investigation and is renewing his calls for a public inquiry. We'll be hearing from Imran Khan, Doreen Lawrence's solicitor, in a moment. But first this, from our Home Affairs correspondent, Andy Davis. Peter Francis, old alias Pete Black, the man whose account earlier this year of life undercover proved politically explosive. I have to say, nothing is off the table. If the whole country be has been appalled by these allegations. Or inquiries need to be held. They will be held. This is not an acceptable situation. Or inquiries need to be held. They will be held. And I fear that they are true. We must get to the bottom of it. The catalyst, his appearance on Channel 4's dispatches, detailing his work for Scotland Yard's secretive former undercover unit, the Special Demonstration Squad, or SDS, in which he claimed that in 1993 he was instructed to find intelligence, to discredit, to smear the family of the murdered teenager Stephen Lawrence. Had I, through my circles, come up with something along the lines of they, the family were political activists, if somebody in the family was involved in demonstrations, drug dealers, anything. This account has since been challenged by two former senior special branch officers. His credibility questioned in some quarters of the media. This is his first television interview since the Dispatches programme. Do you stand by the claims you made in the Dispatches programme? Hundred percent. And yet you're the only one who's come forward with this allegation regarding the Lawrence family campaign. I've welcomed SDSF officers to come forward at the end of the dispatches program. If you actually listen to it, I made a very clear appeal for other SDS officers to come forward who hopefully would actually say this is what their instructions were as well. But to date they haven't, have they? I don't know. He is keen to clarify one matter, however. The word smear, he says, should not be interpreted as the police having tasked him to fabricate evidence against the family. The word smear if that implies at all anywhere in anyone's mind that that inv would involve the word lying, that's what I would like to basically correct. Under no circumstances was my remit to lie about any of this. So when I go, go, go out, what I'm basically looking for is any solid intelligence on the family. How do you know that had you found anything negative the Metropolitan Police would definitely have used it to, as you put it, smear the family. Because I was told expressly to look for any intelligence that could be used to undermine them. Such a claim involving Scotland Yard and the Lawrence family is now the subject of a major police investigation, Operation Hearn. It's examining other undercover scandals too, such as the use of dead children's identities, the sexual relationships with targets. And it's led by this man. This needs investigating, and my plea will be for Peter Francis to give us a statement, because without that statement, we cannot ask the question, who tasked you, who was the supervisor, what was your reporting, what was the reason you were tasked? Peter Francis has said he'll answer precisely these questions for Mick Creedon's team if they can guarantee him one thing, that he won't be prosecuted for any breaches of the Official Secrets Act over what he's told journalists in the past. And the police response to that this letter to Peter Francis, in which a senior officer writes, neither the Crown Prosecution Service or myself can provide immunity from prosecution for breaches of the Official Secrets Act or any other matter. He goes on to say, I've made the decision at this time to treat you as a witness and hope that you are prepared to assist the inquiry. What are you going to do now? Basically, I just revert to what I originally I said, is that I will only appear before a public inquiry. I'm also prepared to appear before the House of Commons Select Committee. I've, I've already volunteered to do that. You've made a hugely serious allegation here. Isn't it only fair 
that the police are able to examine the evidence um, upon which you've made this allegation. I think, that, I think that is fair. I think my offer not to be prosecuted for what I've said on the matter, I think is also very fair as well. And if they can't give you this immunity from prosecution? We wait for the public inquiry. But so far, calls for a public inquiry have been resisted by the government. MPs, meanwhile, continue to ask questions. Have you uncovered any evidence so far um, that undercover officers were involved in smearing the Lawrence family? No, none. Mick Creedon, who's leading the Scotland Yard inquiry into these uh, allegations, into undercover policing, has said that they've trawled through thousands of records and to date have found no evidence whatsoever of a smear campaign against the Lawrence family. Is that because, in reality, there was no smear campaign? No, not in the slightest. Just keep, keep looking. And if he doesn't find it, maybe the public inquiry will help him find it. Peter Francis went undercover as Pete Black, a far-left militant activist. When it was over, he struggled with identity issues and diagnosed with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, went on to sue his former bosses at Scotland Yard for lack of psychiatric care. Is there a possibility that, given what you've been through in the past, the nervous breakdown, the post-traumatic stress disorder, that your recollection of events, of what actually happened, of what you were actually tasked to do, has become distorted over time? None whatsoever. None whatsoever. How can you be so sure? Because this is what my post-traumatic stress disorder is all about. I relive incidents. I relive these things. This is what post-traumatic stress disorder is all about. I, I am 100% the adamant's correct. These are my nightmares. This is what I'm trying to move on for. And this is what this is all about. This isn't Pete Black fighting them. This is Pete Francis declaring what Pete Black did. I have no master anymore. The Metropolitan Police left Pete Black out there. They left him. My master now there isn't, is no longer the police. It's the public. So I will give them all the truth on the issues. Peter Francis's stance on a public inquiry is supported by Baroness Lawrence, Stephen Lawrence's mother, which leaves the current police investigation facing a very real dilemma. How to meaningfully investigate this hugely sensitive allegation without being able to talk to the man who stands at the centre of it all. Andy Davis reporting.